Thank you for joining us on our Family First Life Tri-State Serve the People podcast. We appreciate you tuning in, spending your time to develop and grow with us. Follow us, please, on all our social media platforms at Family First Life Tri-State or FFL Tri-State. We love you. Keep listening. And I hope this information is serving you across the country. All right, everybody. Thank you for jumping on with us with Tri-State Trending with my man, Danny Gonzalez, VP, Family First Life. The future, baby. It's one of my favorite things to say. Um, it's such a catchy name, but I'm happy to have you here, man. How you doing, brother? Doing great, man. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm happy to be here as usual. Uh, we're doing great. We got big things uh, coming up this year, and I'm sure you'll ask about it. So that's why we're here. I know you do, man. That's exactly why you're here. You know, I got a chance to meet with you in Miami at the annual convention and your impressive squad. And uh, I'm sure so much has developed from then till now. It's not been long, but still, you know, when people like you get to planning, it starts to get real. So what I want to know first is, you know, what were some things that you and your team, some insights that you and your team took out of annual convention? And then we'll get into some of the, the things you guys you guys want to do. Yeah, you know, um, I, I took a lot out of convention. As, as I'm asking my team, of course, we asked that question a lot. Um, a lot of what I heard was, you know, it, it's obvious now that if you do the work, you'll get the result, right? <laughs> it's crazy how, uh, how, the, how, how they get that out of that. They know that going in, right? <laughs> uh, so, so, you know, seeing people up there who are super successful, that are very, you know, helping out a ton of families, um, always puts an extra fire in you, no matter who you are. So whether you're the guy coming in or the guy who's been in the business for a while and helps a ton of families um, as a team, you know, you always get a lot out of it because you have everybody up there who's, uh, you know, just like you, just came into the business or <laughs> been in the business for a while um, and can teach you some stuff. There's always today we were doing a, a team Zoom and I was relating the, you know, you know, I'm in men's ministry and stuff like that. Yes, I was sir. relating the relationship between having like a spiritual father and having a business father figure, mm. right? And I actually talked about you as being that for me. Wow. Um, and I said, everybody needs to have that. You know, you need to have somebody who's been in it a little bit longer than you and can teach you things that, that you know, you're going through that they've gone through as well. No doubt. And it's huge. I mean, I have it in, I've had many mentors and people in my life that I've handpicked, whether it be business or finance or fatherhood or marriage, that I handpicked to to help you know mentor me or or guide me, and it's usually people who have what I'm looking for, you know what I'm saying? Not someone who doesn't. So that's great. Now you have that. You're 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 set up. I mean, you've got you know quite a squad. I think I saw some aha moments from some of them, but I don't. I didn't get a chance to kind of unpack it all. But you have. So what are some things that you guys have talked about since leaving convention that is being put into play right now to help aid in this year that you're looking to have of explosive growth? Yeah, so we got uh, what, what you know that we call the smart team, social media advertising recruiting team. And <laughs> a small group of leaders who have qualified to lead others, you know, and, um, you know, they're completely bought into this system of recruiting through social media. Uh, so we're putting a lot of our focus, a lot of our chips in that. Of course, the organic growth and the headhunting and all that never stops. Mm. But I think that social media advertising is going to play a big role in uh, how we're going to get to a thousand families a month. No doubt. Now, high level, I'm hearing you. But then when you go micro and you go inside the groups, you have a lot of men and women that want to do telesales and want to continue to do telesales. Talk to us a little bit about developing, developing that out, you know, and the thought you've put into how you want to continue to aid in the growth of some of your, your teams that want to do telesales. Absolutely. So we've learned a lot from teams like U20, you know, guys like Caleb, Gabe, Joe Basso, mm -hmm. uh, not just at convention, but from some of the meetings that we've done with you about sharing. Mm -hmm. Right. And one of the guys that we're 
uh, that are contributing a lot to the sharing is Mr. Daniel Pierce, who actually just had a baby today. Wow. Congratulations, um, Daniel. Yeah. So it's he's huge. in Minnesota and he's got a very big office, about three times the size of mine. But he comes in with telemarketing uh, experience. So he's got you know staff now and, and they're doing telesales, of course. And so because of that, we're we're having him lead our dial days, our Zoom dials, right? Our live dials. And, and that's what we're doing right now for the newer people who are coming in. They have no experience. They want to help families um, and they plug in there and see what Daniel Pierce is doing. And, and he's leading the, the telesales portion of that. That's fantastic. And, you know, in this quest to helping, you know, 1,000 to 1,500 families a month, you know, obviously there's things that, you know, from the for, from the forefront that you're doing to kind of dole out to the team. And uh, you talk about social media advertising, you talk about, you know, the, your recruiting efforts. Um, who is actually, who's actually doing the recruiting for the future? Yeah, so right now it's me. Um, I, I think I'm very good at recruiting. Yes, sir. Uh, I think a lot of people would agree. <laughs> um, so I think that I'm going to lead that from the front. And as we build our staff, uh, as far as recruiting goes, uh, of course, the goal is to duplicate myself, uh, multiply myself, and, and and continue to recruit more. So we're we're sharing as we recruit. We're sharing those recruits uh, with a with a few four right now. There's four leaders that we're piloting this program with. It's brand new for us since convention. Um, so we're going to give it three months strong and then multiply it from there. But I'll be I'll be leading the recruiting charge. No doubt. And you're already a very good recruiter, probably great recruiter. But for some people that are trying to figure out, you know, how to do it themselves, you know, um, and, you know, position themselves to either take a lead or 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 go in and actually message people and get them to understand that family first life is the place to be. What are some tips that you'd have for them? Yeah, so. Finding them is, is the easy part, right? You can find them just about anywhere on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. um, but I just, you know, what I do is I study that person, you know, so it does take a little bit of time. Sure. Um, you don't just copy and paste a message to everybody because <laughs> they know, you know, they know it's a copy and paste. Uh, so if you're trying to be prolific at this, um, you're going to study that person just a little bit and send them a message that you think is going to work for them. Hmm. If you know where their comp is at because of the, you know, the company that they're at, then maybe you want to talk about comp. I mean, some people like to like pictures and wait and, you know, play that long game. I like to get right to the point. You know, you know that about me. I'm super bold. So I usually <laughs> just post something. But I really like to do it if, I'm, if I'm being honest, I mean, you, you, you asked me the question about a message. I don't send a lot of messages. I like to find their phone number. Okay. And on the phone number, you know, a lot of insurance agents, they put their phone number out there because that's their business. They want people to call them. Um, they think they're, they're, they're going to get clients calling them, but really they're going to get me calling them. <laughs> and I'm going to offer them a better opportunity, you know, so that's, that's how I like to do it. Okay. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about, you know, I don't send a lot of messages. I find the phone number. Um, what are you doing to find the phone number? Number one. And then number two. What do you, what is like your particular, what is your, your classic, I guess, elevator to at least open this thing up to figure out who you're talking to? Yeah. So finding the phone number, a lot of times you can find it on Instagram, but not every time. If it's somebody that I really want on my team, I'm going to go on the department of insurance for whichever state they're in. And I'm going to find, you know, I'm going to search them up with their name because their name I do have. And, and I'll be able to find their phone number that way. Hmm. I've done that a number of times. Um, but, you know, depending on who they are uh, and, and what they're, they have accomplished so far, um, that's going to determine, you know, my opening line to them. The best thing I can do, you know, is share a couple of stories that are, um, you know, that have, have actually happened uh, just, so, you know, in order to, to train somebody or, or to give you the information that you want. I got to tell you things that I've actually done. So you want me to do that? Let's do it. Yeah. So with Leo, uh, for example, Leo, you know, I, when I called him, he was at another company and I just said, Hey, Leo, my name is Danny. Uh, I know you don't know me. I'm calling you from Miami. You're in New Jersey, but I'm going to fly out there tomorrow and take you to dinner. 
if you don't like what I have to say, at least you're going to get a free <laughs> dinner out of it. You know, it's a, something like that, real bold, real aggressive. And in Leo's case, I knew by looking at Leo on, on social media that he was kind of like me. He was kind of like, you know, very bold and, and aggressive or, or you know, he just That's a great mind. pitch. That's a great pitch to a New Jersey guy. <laughs> exactly. So his response, I mean, he kind of giggled a little bit, but he's like, you know what? I've never received a call like this, so I'm going to take you up on that. Huh. You know, and, and and it worked with Leo. That might not work with everybody. Right. But with the New Jersey guy, it did. <laughs> so just kind of like a, you're, you're. It almost sounds like you know you're you're taking it you know by the gut, but the approach, the overall approach is going to be bold. Right. Absolutely. Straight up in the first seven, eight, ten seconds, you, it's out there. You know what it is about me, man. That I, I mean, if somebody calls me and they're just trying to act like they're going to be my friend, I'm not going to. I already know. Hey, man, what do you want from me? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you trying to sell me on? Mm -hmm. So the fact that I know I'm trying to sell you something and I know that you're also a salesperson who can sense that Mm. I'm just going to sell it to you in the first sentence. That's great. You know what I mean? Like. You're either going to like it or you're not going to like it. And that's fine. I didn't waste my time. Right. But we're not going to sit here and talk about, you know, you, you, you know, oh, how the kids doing? You know what I mean? That doesn't work <laughs> like that. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's actually the psychology of that is really strong because what you said was I'm a salesperson. You're a salesperson. That means we both know. So why why mints? I like that a lot, um, right? A, quite a quite a bit. So, how often would you say? How many times a week would you say you're doing this? So I would like to do it daily, but honestly, I don't. Um, what I have, what I do is, I have my staff finding these people for me now. Mm-hmm. Where before I used to find them myself and do everything myself. Now I have my staff sending me. Um, you know, certain number of people daily with with a small summary of who they are, where they're coming from, and their Instagram name, so I can look them up um, if I need to, right? And so I'm doing this three times a week, nice. just because there's so much other stuff going on. And now with the smart program, I also gotta you know recruit people from scratch who are unlicensed and yeah. all that. So it's mm-hmm. different. Right now. But that's why we're trying to grow the staff and. If you ask me that again in three months, it'll, you'll get a different answer. I love it, man. You know, you and I have talked, you know, quite a bit in the last, well, January. So in the last couple months, the last two months about your strategy, what you're looking to do 2022. Sounds like the legs are uh, are are underneath you and that you're just, you're, you're revving this thing up to get momentum. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, legs starting with Oz. Oz and Leo, you know, their team is doing about 90 families a month. And so, you know, they're becoming uh, a a pretty strong leg there pretty quickly. Uh, We're doing, we did 275 in January. um, And we're looking to to get to 1,000 families a month by the end of the year. So those legs got to get moving. Yes, sir. (laughs) We got a big, I mean, we're closing this thing out in February. We got a big March coming up. So, um, you know, it, you know, things are about to get real live. So. I'm excited for you, man. I mean, you know, the one thing that I'm I'm sensing in this in this podcast is the amount of peace you have working in your strength zone. You know, not being dizzy, not trying to do it a diff, not trying to do it someone else's way, doing it your way, um, in your strength zone, and the confidence you have with the amount of peace. Excuse me, the confidence you have with the amount of you know, momentum you're going to be able to gain um, because, you know, it's just a matter of time. Like you, you, you had, you know, great results with this pro with this approach. So, you know, it's just a matter of time. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that's what it's all about. I think that's what entrepreneurship is all about, you know, is maxima. And it's funny because as I was hiring staff a couple months ago, we started really hiring staff. Um, and, and I tell them, you know, we're going to find what your strengths are. You might not even know what they are, but we're going to find what your weaknesses are too. And we're not going to do that with you because you're not good at it, you know, period. So, and it's the same thing, uh, as we come in here and we try to build an agency and we try to help all these families, 
focus on what you're really, really good at, and then you hire people to do the things that you're not as good at. You know, so there's a lot of peace there, knowing that there's a plan and it makes sense, and and that's what works. You know, dude, you you're gonna have a massive year. I mean, I'm I'm I I I'm, I, I'm stuttering because I'm so excited that you know um, it's come together for you. I it's just all it's written all over you. So just I'm excited to see what's happening, what's gonna happen. I, I can't wait to have this conversation in the next ninety days. And uh, yes. obviously, if there's anything we can do to help, let me know, brother. But I'm, I'm, I am 100% in support of what's happening, and I'm excited for you, my brother. Thank you for sharing with us. Thank you, man. We're excited, too. Appreciate you, as always. Appreciate you. Tri-State Trending with my man, Danny G. So the future's in the building. Thank you so much for sharing with us. That's great stuff. You should take some stuff from this, too. Headhunting and going after people that actually can help your group grow is the way. So thank you, brother. Appreciate it.